Holy cow! It's so entertaining just to look at. Those yeah. are home audio subs? Yeah. What? <laughs> Straight up. My name is Patrick Crowley, uh, 2004 Honda Pilot. It's got two SCV 6Ks at 0.8 each, JL404 underneath the seat, two JY45s, North Star Group 94, Ohio All 300. I got some massive mid ranges in the back doors just running off radio power. It's so entertaining just to look at, especially for a but what, 20 of these things. Tell me something interesting about the setup or something difficult along the way. Blue one because it was a passive radiator and came unhooked. Everything was good. We changed out boxes a little bit, made the port a little bit bigger. And uh, somehow one of the jumpers from the other sub came undone and literally tore it all apart paper mache style. It was great. I'll have to rebuild the box. It flexes a whole lot more than I thought. So the noise you're hearing is the box bottom hitting the false floor wood bottom. It's literally sitting on a wooden floor. Oh, wow. So that's what's making that racket. Yeah. Speaking about the box flex, there's a lot more flex than what I would have thought for 28s. I love it. Something's flexing hardcore back here. I'll show you in a second. Holy cow. I don't know where it is, but I can hear it. I'm pretty sure we all heard that with 20 of those subs pumping away, but damn, it's kind of hypnotizing. Don't you think the way the subs move and that wavy effect when playing low bass notes? I don't know, man, just something about it. I love every second. And even with that hellacious vibration noise going on, I was still gunning for round two, and luckily our buddy Patrick was all about that bass, and we ended up slamming another solid demo right here. Let's check it out. like that some bit, don't I? That sounds good for, especially for a but what, 20 of these things. It's so entertaining just to look at. So that alone, I think that's a, that's a winning factor right there. 
Huge thanks to our friends at the Amp Lab for supporting the EXO channels. If you've got a busted up amp that needs repairing or just looking to buy new and used gear, be sure to check out the Amp Lab. Troy and Ethan are always hooking it up for us bass heads. Follow the link below. Now let's get back into it. Just flying words. Oh, sh. I saw that come up. Nope, nice to see man. you again, man. Long time. Home yeah. audio subs. Huh? Home, home audio, audio subs. Those are home audio Don't subs? Yeah. What? <laughs> Straight up. That's crazy. Yep, you heard it. This build is using all home audio subwoofers. Pretty cool, huh? I just wish I knew which models they were, so if you have any good guesses, let me know. I mean, I've seen people chuck in a couple KLHs or Technics in the trunk before, but never 16 in a freaking walled setup. That is just nuts, but makes for some great conversation and some good videos. No, I think it'll shoot a video like you swear, right? Yeah. Go ahead and finish the video. Nice. Not too bad for some hi-fi SPL, right? Definitely a big fat thumbs up in my book, but I'm sure there's gonna be a few comments from those die-hard audiophiles that just can't believe what they're seeing. But hey, life is short and everyone is different. So that's why I applaud those people who choose to go against the grain and do so with a big smile on their face. So with that said, I wanna give Mr. Hoover some massive props for his unique audio setup. Nice mid-progress view of some door panels here. Pretty interesting how they do this stuff, if you ask me. You can do some poppers. Some door poppers. Oh, yeah, I'm doing door poppers on it. Yeah. He's got four Sony Explodes. The team explodes. <laughs> the team explodes. I hear they're really doing big things over there at Sony Pioneer and all that jazz. Oh, that looks killer, dude. Nice big six. Built it all himself. Looking good. Took a lesson out of your book on that one. Yeah, that's the PL8X on there. Nice. What did you screw into? Uh, another piece of three-quarter on top of it. Oh, okay. That 8X is no joke, huh? No, it's no joke. Yeah. Oh, shit. What happened there? I had to see a glue because the base on my last box was uh, vibrating it and uh, turning it. Oh. just changing the game. You don't want that to happen. No. <laughs> Let's try this song here. All right. Just for the hell of it. You can't you got a bad bitch. Sorry. We didn't know anything was going on over no, there. No, no, it's fine. We oh, obviously shit. don't have a PA to <laughs> <now>. <laughs> 
Oh, Busted. Busted. Well, that wraps up another video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the spread. We had a great time starting out with Patrick and his impressive 8 inch subs, hammering that ported box like no tomorrow. Dude, something's flexing hardcore back here. I'll show you yes. Then we stepped it up even bigger with Kevin's 16 home audio subs walled off in a fourth order band pass. Home, home audio subs. Those are home audio those subs? Yeah. What? <laughs> then, lastly, getting cut a little short at TDH with Dudley's team explodes. Man, those things were nasty. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I always strive for the best quality and your presence here on the channel is always a pleasure to have. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you on the next one. This is EXO, signing out. Bye -bye!